Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Want to talk for a minute about these tools that I picked up today at Home Depot. These uh, stubby wrenches that I picked up a set in from Husky. And it's a set of 12, 6 uh, metric and 6 standard. Uh, and it came out to uh, $9.98 or $10 so to speak. Um, I'm replacing or adding to a set that I had that I use uh, for upstate. These are a, uh, a stubby set that I bought years ago. Uh, uh, these were Pittsburgh, you know, which is the Harbor Freight brand. Uh, one thing I wanted to say is that the quality, if you look at the difference right off the bat, you're going to say, well, you know, you can't compare apples to oranges, but um, you could look at the casting on this. This is obviously made in India. India is not known for their quality, but I want to show you an interesting test. Uh, first of all, you look at the, the chrome plating on here. You say, wow, these are, you know, they're pretty thin, uh, nicely polished and whatnot. The set here on the, uh, the Husky, it starts a little bit smaller. It goes up to 11 sixteenths. The uh, Pittsburgh set started at 7 sixteenths and went up to uh, 1 inch. Now, what you would need a 1 inch stubby for, I usually don't know. Tell you the truth, I've only used stubby wrenches a couple times in all the time, all the years I've been turning wrenches. But when you do need them, they can come in handy. So, uh, I just want to take you over to the bench for a minute and show you something pretty interesting. Okay, I'm over here at the, uh, the bench and this is just a bolt that I have in for demonstrating certain wrenches that I have with the Scouts. But... Right here, this is a, a 7 uh, uh, bolt, and it uses a nut, which is 11 sixteenths. And this is a 12-point socket, 12 points on that socket. And if you look at how this socket fits over the, and how much play, you can see it's very limited play here. Now I'm going to take some of these wrenches and put them on here and show you. You might be surprised. Here's a, a Craftsman 11 sixteenth wrench that goes on. We'll put on the nut, and you can see how much play you have here back and forth okay now we're going to take the uh, Pittsburgh made in India you know the one that surprised me but if you look at the play here you know we have maybe what you know uh, eight to a quarter of an inch of, uh, of slop so to speak now I'm going to take this husky made in China and uh, looks full polished and nice and and now I'm going to put that on the same nut and see what now you could see the play on here. We must have at least a quarter of an inch if, uh, you know, it's almost, it's quite a bit more noticeable than either of these. But, well, the point I'm trying to get at is the tolerances of, the, of some of these Asian tools, you know, varies from, and, you know, you can't always go by what you think is fit and finish because that don't always matter. So I guess in closing, what I'd like to say is even though these have a, uh, what appears to be a, a more attractive fit and finish, you can see these wrenches uh, are somewhat superior um, in, in the fact of less slop. However, they do have a thicker housing, which uh, might be hard to get into certain tight spots or whatever. But I don't use stubby wrenches all that often. And for the uh, price of $10 for this set, which works out to about $0.83 cents a wrench, I think it's uh, well worth the price. But uh, if I had to do use them every single day, I'd probably go with an American brand snap-on or something. But... Anyway, just my thoughts on this. Hope it helps. Take care.